All right, the time has come to try fabricating a new yoke cover. So here's the original, made out of some type of plastic that deteriorates over time quite badly. I hadn't quite figured out how to make good plastic back in the 50s, apparently. Well, I had a similar situation on an Admiral Portable TV, and I... Uh, developed a process. I shouldn't say that. I'd say I evolved the process. Actually, uh, Bob Gallanter did some posts, uh, or a little uh, instructional diary online of how to make a yoke cover using a similar technique for uh, color TVs. However, his didn't have the centering rings. Uh, but uh, anyways, the basic process is the same. So, what I'm using for material is styrene. Just got this from a hobby shop. Some sheets of styrene and some Plastruck Bondine styrene solvent. It basically melts the plastic to itself. So, how do we go about this? Well, if you want to save yourself some time and you can find it, buy a strip of plastic this width, whatever width your yoke cover is. This is all I've got to work with, so I'm going to have to cut all my stock out of this. So I need two basic things. I need a circle, and for that I have this circle cutter. It's got a sharp center point and a sharp cutting blade. Works like a compass. You can adjust this for the diameter, and then you hold it down and you spin it, and work it around a few times, and this blade will cut through the styrene. So we'll need a circle for this part. And eventually we'll be cutting an inner circle, so I'm making a donut. And then for this outer bit, cut a strip, wrap it around, and put a bead of the cement around it. Something like a, a large hose clamp or rubber band or tape can help to, help to keep this all together while the cement is setting up. Once we have the basic cup shape, basically we're, we're trying to make something like this. In fact, if you could find a plastic lid of the right diameter, then you're... Uh, one step closer to being done, but um, this is basically this is the first thing I'm going to do is try to make something like this. Then I'll cut out the center, then I'll take a piece of plastic strip and run around the inside to make a lip, like the original has, so that these rings can sit on it. So we got one ring, and then a piece of cardboard, and then the other ring. I want it to fit snugly, and then I um, will cut out another smaller donut that just fits around on top of here and glue it down just to hold that all together. Now there are some various notches and holes and things cut around the outside. I'll wait till the whole thing's done and then see about cutting those. I imagine this one and this one are there to snap on to the yoke to hold it in place. And this cutout is, might be for the cable that comes down. I'm not sure. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is figure out from this warped mess what is the right diameter. I think I will take some uh, scrap cardstock and do some test circles and fit them against the actual yoke to get the right diameter. So uh, me measuring this I don't think is going to yield me an accurate uh, result. Alright, this worked out well. Just a shade over two inch radius. I then cut out a plastic disc and now I'm cutting out a strip. I scored it pretty deeply and then you can just fold it over and snap it out. Now this will get wrapped around. It's a little fiddly to do, but uh, once you figure out uh, how long it needs to be and you get some tape on it. It will hold together a lot better. And you can run some glue. And uh, I won't uh, cut out the center circle until after I get this done. Having it all as a solid disc adds a bit of strength to it. You don't want to have this weak, weaker and kind of floppy when you're trying to put this band around it. And once this is glued on, and this glue works quite well, because like I said, it's, it really is kind of like welding it. It kind of fuses the plastic together. It'll, it'll be a much stronger structure. Okay, cut out the strip. 
and I got it taped. Now you notice there's a bit of a gap there. Yeah, it's a little hard sometimes to close that completely up. But best to have this a little bit too long than too short. So what I'll do is get everything down snug, lay out a bead around most of it, let that set up, and then I can get in there to, and trim that up a little bit and completely seal that down. Got it. Here it is with the centering rings installed. So you move these around to center the picture. Now I just need to mark out and cut the uh, notches on the side which secure it and this guy out here which uh, indeed is where the uh, yoke cable comes out. Alright, that ought to do it. I just plunged a soldering iron into the sides to make those holes and cut that out with an X-Acto knife. Doesn't need to be too precise, so oh, let's see how oh, this goes on. Alright, cool. Looks like that was a success. And then you adjust this with the set running, of course, to center the picture. Now if that wasn't enough detail for you, don't despair because I will be doing another one soon. I was recently sent this yoke for repairs. And this is, well, it's completely naked. It's lost all of its covering, not just the cap on the back, but everything. All that's left are a few traces up around the front of that same type of crumbly early plastic. Now what this would have looked like is something like this, which is from about the same time, but this one is made out of heavy cardstock, which is more typical of the late 40s. You can see they're actually very, very similar. They just chose to use a different material to encase it. So this bit here is the same as this bit here. Just the inner part is missing. That's what. Uh, that's how these are held in place. Is when not that goes in there. This gets suspended on a support. And the CRT neck goes right through there. So if they'd uh, chosen to go with the cardstock, uh, very likely this would still be uh, usable today. But as it is, it's a mess. So. Uh, I've got uh, a little choice to make. Do I make it out of styrene or do I make it out of cardstock and use this as a template for it? I'm tempted to go with this because I can use this as an almost identical construction and go with this as a model. Um, but on the other hand, this wood's originally plastic. Well,. I will ponder that and be looking for a, uh, a video on this while I will be doing the entire cover to get it to the point where it's something looking like that.